These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. When it gets chilly outside, I wear beanies. It's that time of year again. What's up, everybody? We're starting our review today for the UL Crown Pod system. This, this is the black one, so you can't really tell what it looks like, but this is their sort of medium sized pod. It's got an internal 1100 mAh battery. It's got a three mil capacity. It comes with a 0.3 direct lung coil and a 0.8 restricted lung mouth to lung coil. And just in the interest of being completely fair and open, I've already been using one for about a week already with the direct lung coil head in here. I filled it up with some three milligram e-liquid. I am surprised. This is very much like a pocket, what I would call a pocket cloud chaser. It's got a real nice little screen and shows you really everything you need to know. There's a battery level indicator. It's gonna show you your wattage, you know, your puff counter, your resistance, everything like that. If you give the fire button a two click, one, two, that starts flashing and then you can use this little wheel down here to adjust your wattage. Just give the fire button a long press when you're done. Goes back to normal. It's got a wicked fast auto switch and a fire button. I still don't know. Hang on, let me experiment. One, two, three. Oh, well shit, there's a menu system I didn't know about in here. Three clicks gets you to this. There's settings, you can customize this. There's a bypass mode on a pod for some reason. There's a curve mode. Voltage, power. Well, this is something I'm gonna have to explore. Customize doesn't do anything. The bypass doesn't do anything. I guess choosing between power and voltage mode, that's kind of cool. Honestly, what I'm most impressed with at the end of the day is how this vapes. The flavor is just so nice and dense. It's crispy. That auto switch is just a hair trigger. I'm not super in love with this mouthpiece. And like I said, I've been using the 0.15 for what they call direct lung, but I'm a little bit more fascinated. I think we know me pretty well by now. I'm a little bit of a mouth to lung nerd. So I want to set up the 0.8 ohm coil with some 12 milligram. Let's try this in uh, mouth to lung. Play some ball here. The coil heads are just press fit on the bottom just with an O-ring and you can kind of see there is one side that is a flat side. This is your airflow control and I was even kind of doing a pretty good mouth to lung with three milligram and that other coil head. So I'm interested to see how closed down we can get this. And best of all, look at crack to fill. You love to see it. Just give it a bleh. And I kind of always say this now, but if you're using a crack to fill, just wipe down your play area when you're done. Keeps everything nice and clean. 0.8, about 15 watts. I got the airflow full open. We're just gonna try uh, mouth to lung. Very nice, very, 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 very open mouth to lung. The 0.8 full open and the 0.3 open don't feel super different to me. Let's close down this airflow a little bit. Mm. There we go. That's that's real nice. That's a real nice little mouth to lung right there. Am I sure these aren't the same fucking coil heads? Nope. One is one says a 0.3, one says a 0.8. They just happen to feel the exact same full open. That is a very nice mouth to lung. As far as I can tell, there's no way to turn off the button and retain the auto switch. That kind of bums me out. Here's the thing. I've only been using this one for a week and this one for like five minutes now. So I'm not going to end this party here. I want to put these coil heads, as I like to say, through their paces. Time is going to tell us everything we need to know about this crown pod. So I'll catch up with you guys. Let's see if today's day one. I'll catch up with you guys much later. Day eight, day nine. Not sure. See you then. <laughs> oh, how predictable Grim Green. It's the one week car update for the UL Crown Pods. I filled up the blue one, like I said, with three milligram, but I filled up this one with 12 milligram non-salt liquid and it's been really good. I do this thing where I kind of sit here and I play with the airflow, but not like in a negative way. I like almost all of the airflow settings on this. Fully open, you can do a restricted lung. It's a bit much with 12 milligram, but you can easily do it. And without adjusting any airflow, you can do like a nice open mouth to lung. That seems kind of crazy to me. So I've just been fiddling with this up and down and I like the mouth to lung on literally all of it. You can tighten it way, way down. Time will tell us everything we need to know about this pod system and these coil heads, I will say, they've remained after a week, crispy, flavorful, crackly, delicious. Even the older one that I've just been using in restricted lung still tastes just as good. Boule Bolu, boosh. 
Today's only the week check-in, so we've got much more time to go. I'll catch up with you guys later. Here's the thing, just I wanna do a small update on this Crown D pod. I have run into one tiny little thing that I think is gonna become a bigger thing, kinda of like it did on the Caliburn X, and that is the minimum fill line on this, I feel is way, way too high. It's necessary because when your liquid does get down below that minimum line, gurgles. This vape's so astronomically better than that though that I'm kind of willing to put up with it. So there you go, just a quick update. We're still, you know, we're still gonna drag these coil heads through the mud, put them through their paces as I always say. The restricted direct lung three milligrams still going very, very strong as well. So I'll catch up with you guys later. So the minimum line thing turned out to be not as big of a deal as I thought it was gonna be. It's not exactly at the top, it's actually a little bit lower and I can take it a little bit even lower than that before I run into any sort of gurgliness. It still is a little bit of wasted capacity, but it's not, like I said, it's not a big deal because otherwise the Crown D pod, it vapes like a champion. My wife took my other one, the black one, the one that I filled up with 12 milligram deep cuts guava. She just took it. She left for a business trip to Las Vegas or Palm Springs or something like that. And she comes to me and says, where's that pod? Where's that one pod? And I go, oh, I know which pod she's talking about. That one pod. Yes, here you go. It's the Crown D. And she just took it and, and took it. So I'm left here with just the one that I filled up with three milligrams. So I've just been, eh, you know, using it as a restricted lung. You can still surprisingly do a mouth to lung with it. And I will prove it. The AFC just works and it works awesome anywhere between a big open mouth to lung, restricted lung, tight down mouth to lung. It has some unnecessary, you know, menu system things. I don't see a reason why there's like a bypass mode on this. That makes no sense to me. It makes no sense why you would even in include that. It just seems like it would be something that's overwhelming for someone who may have you know, the last thing, the last nicotine they had was a cigarette. I'm gonna see if I can switch it over. Oh, low battery, dang, that's how much I've been using it. Damn it, the Crown D pod, in my opinion, vapes undeniably good, and it will do, like I've already said a thousand times, all the air flows, and they're all just delightful. They all work flawlessly. I am gonna ding it for a few things. I'm gonna ding it for the wasted capacity, obviously, and I'm gonna ding it for the fact that you can't turn off the fire button and retain the auto draw. That, in my opinion, boosh is a thing that I really don't like that, and I don't love the mouthpiece. So this is gonna end up with like, eh, maybe eight banana stickers. I feel like that's very reasonable, especially considering the longevity I've got from these coil heads has been surprisingly good. That first 0.3 ohm is still going strong. It's been, I mean, refill after refill. How do I even keep track of this in my head? How many days has it been? Gotta be day 25, day 26. We're coming up on one full month with just this coil head, and I would continue vaping it if my, if my battery wasn't dead. Maybe I'll ding it for battery life. Nope, can't do that because it's got a good battery life. The rambling has kicked in, so this is clearly the end of the video. I can't do any vape budget hands. I can't do any aliens game, but I will say this. If you're a person that smokes cigarettes, hey, maybe you don't need to. There is a world of new safer nicotine products out on the market in the description of this video. I'm gonna put links to science and education only. Yeah, this has been a grim green video. Stay smoke free. It's dead, so I can't hold it up. Stay smoke free every day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so. 0.8, I'm gonna try this at about 15 watts, airflow full open. Let's try them out. <sighs>